video I'm going to explain how a turbocharged car works with an electronic boost control solenoid and an external wastegate. I'm also going to explain how and why you, if you have a 10 pound spring, you can only make 20 pounds of boost. Now, with that said, it's going to start out really slow. Like, really slow. So work with me. This side is the compressor wheel. As that spins, the turbine wheel spins. Exhaust flows on the turbine wheel, spinning the compressor wheel on the other side, which is sealed up in between. The compressor side goes directly into your intake manifold building boost pressure. Now it's important to remember that the exhaust, as it's exiting the car and the car is idling, this wheel is always gonna be spinning. So the air is coming in this way, spinning the turbine, which of course spins the compressor wheel. Now, keep in mind that as the car accelerates, creating more airflow, this is gonna build pressure in the compressor side and your intake manifold and as that builds pressure at some point it's going to have to be relieved and that's what the function of the external wastegate does it relieves the pressure on this side as the exhaust is coming out it's going to let the exhaust travel a different way out slowing this wheel down because it's relieving the pressure which in turn relieves the pressure in your intake manifold so without that external wastegate obviously you're gonna have boost spikes, you're gonna have, um, you know, the bearings, this, this is gonna overspool, which is gonna cook the bearings and things like that. Now, something that I've realized uh, a lot of people do, this is the oil inlet, so there's a lot of oil flow going in through here. It comes in there and then comes out this side. Now, you can, uh, some people have scavenge pumps, which helps suck the oil out, and you wanna make sure that this line is when you whatever you hook up here your drain back line that you want to make sure that it's always a larger a large diameter and that you don't have like a lot of uh, debris or uh, um, uh, what do you call it gasket material around this which because the reason why is because you don't want the oil to pool up in here because you want fresh oil in there and always be cooling because these do spin at over a hundred thousand rpm and which is awesome and they also need it's very important for them to be balanced so just something to keep in mind as we get into this video before going into your intake manifold the air goes through an intercooler which cools down the air before going into your engine an external wastegate is used to relieve the pressure on the turbine wheel and vent exhaust, preventing overspooling of the turbo. This is controlled by a spring set inside the wastegate. This particular spring is a 10 pound spring. There is a line connected right here from the bottom of the wastegate to the intake tube. Once this tube has 10 pounds built up, it will push this valve open and up, therefore venting the exhaust fumes out, which means it's only gonna make 10 pounds of boost. In some cases, you are able to create more boost by putting another line on top of your external wastegate and running that line to some type of boost solenoid or boost controller. So let's keep in mind under wide open throttle as the car is building boost up to 10 psi in this line, once it has opened that valve, 
there has to be a way to trick that valve to stay closed to create more boost. And the only way to do that would be air in the top line, which would fool the spring, in turn giving you more boost pressure. So you have to understand that to get pressure in that line, its source is gonna be the intake manifold where there's already boost pressure building up. And in turn, you're gonna trick that spring. So if we have a 10 pound spring and the car builds 10 pounds of boost, it can only retrieve 10 pounds of boost from the line coming off the manifold, which in turn means you can only create 20 pounds of boost at the very maximum. Now, you're gonna wanna regulate the air coming out of your intake manifold and going to the top of your wastegates. And one way to do this is an AEM boost control solenoid. And what this does is it runs at a, a duty cycle. A booty cycle. A duty cycle, <laughs> and when it goes on and off, as this goes on and off, it's venting air into the atmosphere, between in, in the atmosphere and this line, which would be the t going to the top of your wastegates. This line here is going from your intake manifold. As the car builds boost, when this is activated, clicking on and off, you can run this at a higher duty cycle, therefore tricking the spring to create more boost. Now keep in mind, you are only gonna be able to double the amount of boost what your spring is. So if you have a 10 pound spring, you can only make 20 pounds of boost because you're only gonna be able to retrieve from this line 10 PSI, therefore at 100%, it's only gonna make 20 PSI. Makes perfect sense. Now, let's go on inside of the car and I'll show you how to control this. This duty cycle is controlled by using the AEM True Boost. There's plenty of videos on, the, on YouTube about this gauge and there's plenty of other gauges like this. Now, this particular gauge has two settings, A and B, and you can run them one at a higher boost point, the other at a lower. So essentially, you can have different boost pressures. When this is off, you are only gonna run at the maximum of what your spring is set at. And therefore, also works as a good baseline to tell if you have a problem Blowout valves are used when you let off the throttle and the air has nowhere to go after you'd already built boost, it's gonna go out your blowout valve. Now, as far as where these go or where they should be located is up for debate from what I can see. If you like this video, please smash that like button and if you wanna see more of this car, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Jerry Jr's Garage. I've been into cars and bikes and ATVs all my entire life. I'm always working on some kind of project and I'm gonna do my best to upload more content to YouTube. I love watching everybody else's videos. There's so many other car channels that I watch. It's pretty much all I do. So I'm definitely uh, watching. Now I need to be uploading because I am always doing some type of projects. This car is gonna be interesting. I'm not sure what kind of power it's gonna put down when it's done, but we're shooting for 650 to 700 wheel horsepower, but we will see, maybe that's wishful thinking. So anyhow, again, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.